In the United States, another key figure was working to further China's agenda of maximizing the spread of the coronavirus, Dr. Anthony Fauci. In January of this year, Dr. Fauci, a renowned immunologist and director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, was appointed to the White House Coronavirus Task Force. From the point of view of the left and its international conspiracy, this was a most propitious appointment. It was Dr. Fauci's institute that funded, in part, the gain-of-function studies of the SARS-CoV virus conducted at the Wuhan Institute. It is this virus that is the cause of the current ongoing pandemic. As part of the White House Coronavirus Task Force, it is expected that Dr. Fauci would lend his expertise in the defense of the nation against the unseen enemy, especially in light of his intimate knowledge of coronaviruses in general and this coronavirus in particular. Instead, Dr. Fauci has done everything in his power to further China's agenda, which is, in this case, the radical left's agenda, the untrammeled spread of the disease throughout the United States. Dr. Marty McCary explains. Ever since January, Dr. Tony Fauci has been the face of this country's response to coronavirus. Fauci is a distinguished physician. He's been head of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases for more than 35 years. So it made sense to trust him. We even had him on this show. He's a perfectly nice person. But Dr. Fauci has said a lot over the past four months, and he's helped formulate a lot of policies that have changed the country. So it's fair to assess how well has he done. Dr. Marty McCary is a professor of public health at Johns Hopkins University. He joins us tonight. Doctor, thanks for coming on. How would you assess Dr. Fauci's record so far? Well, I agree, Tucker. He's a very nice gentleman. He's a good laboratory virologist. Uh, but, you know, in terms of preparing this country, he missed it. He missed this one for two months from January 15th, when we had our first case confirmed walking around in the United States on U.S. soil until March 15th with the country latching on to every word he says, he never once prepared this country with anything beyond simple hygiene and basic virology lessons. He went on the media every day, right. on every show. Never once did we hear, let's get ready with more PPE. Let's build up our stockpiles. Let's stop non-essential travel. Let's get more swabs. Let's build up capacity with reagents and testing. Uh, so that was a big miss. And I don't know whether or not to blame him because we all make mistakes or the entire country sure. putting their faith in stock in one doctor. The deliberate deployment of the virus and subsequent efforts to assist its widest possible spread and deadliest effect throughout the world are all in support of the overall objectives of the global secret combination, the radical left. The primary objective, of course, is the overthrow of the freedom of all nations, In today's terminology, this means that the combination desires to foist a global government over the nations. A biological attack, a weapon of mass destruction, helps to achieve this ultimate goal. It does so through the executing of the following preliminary steps. First, a global pandemic gives a pretext for taking down the existing global economic and financial system, replaced presumably with another system under the control of the combination. We are seeing this occur currently. Second, effectuate a massive depopulation event which allows for easier global governance. Of course, this includes causing an epidemic in China so that carriers can be sent throughout the world. China is simply being a good chess player, sacrificing pawns for the greater objective. Third, create a black swan event, an unpredictable, catastrophic event that poses a threat to Donald Trump's re-election. It would cause yet another blame Trump frenzy, regardless of how well or badly he handled the crisis. Previous black swan events include 9-11, the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, and the Wall Street crash of 1929. The current pandemic is considered by some to be a black swan event. The thing that I think is interesting is that uh, something like this coronavirus can come along. It's called, economists call it a black swan event, something completely unexpected and surprising that suddenly changes the, under, the, the overall picture. Lastly, create fear throughout the world 
such that extreme measures become viable. This is another version of Rahm Emanuel's never let a serious crisis go to waste. The difference is that this crisis is manufactured. This last step sets the stage for the next phase of the conspiracy's plot.